At home in Lahore tonight, Imran Khan and wife Jumaima reflecting on a tragic week and looking ahead to a future in the volatile and often violent world of Pakistani politics. And Imran Khan told ITN no bomb or threats would stop the launch of his political career. I'm in a hospital being bombed. I certainly am not deterred at all and I would really like to uh, go into this with even more determination to, uh, uh, to start a political movement. So even though your life might be at risk? You know, that's being scared of dying, you know, and, uh, you know, you can never achieve anything in life if you worry about dying. He described as grotesque suggestions here that his supporters planted the hospital bomb to elicit sympathy for his cause. His decision to pursue a political role raises questions about Jemima's safety, fears played down tonight by Imran Khan. I think she's safe, although I will try my best to make it safer for her, you know, hire some security. But I think she won't ever be a target. His political target is Benazir Bhutto, whose government he claims is presiding over a country of increasing corruption and injustice. It's what she represents, which is a whole political culture which is completely corrupt. And it really is that is uh, uh, what most of us want to fight against. And that fight may include challenging her for the job of prime minister. It might be that we might fight elections and eventually uh, go through that way you know, form a political party, fight elections, become a prime minister and then... And if that's the path he chooses, he would, he says, have the full support of his wife. Yes, and that's very important. She has uh, always supported me. Yeah, yeah. And according to newspaper reports here today, Jemima is pregnant, but it's the one subject Imran Khan is coy about. <laughs> is that... <laughs> no comments. Over the next few weeks, Imran Khan will test his support around the country. Only then will it become clear whether he can emerge as a real rival to Benazir Bhutto. Mark Austin, News at 10, Lahore.